Hi, I'm Molly Wood from CNET.com, here to show you how to make your Google searches work a lot better with some simple tips and minor hacks. Now, obviously you know that Google knows everything, but sometimes you need to be a master search artist to figure out how to find all that everything. Here are a few ways to narrow things down. Hopefully, by now you know that the way to make Google search an exact phrase is to put the entire thing in quotes. This is, by the way, really great if you want to search for an error that your computer popped up. You will find help right away. But here's how you let Google know about words you don't want to find. Let's say you're doing research about flu outbreaks, but you don't want to find any information about swine flu. Use a minus sign to exclude any word you don't want to find. So you can search for flu outbreak minus swine. Make sure there's no space between the minus sign and the word you want to exclude. This is a really good way to search for topics that are in the news when you don't want to find the news. All right, next let's say that you want to force Google to include certain words that it would otherwise skip. You know, Google sometimes ignores those so-called stop words like I, the, a, and of. It's smart enough to know about the rock and the who and the the, but if you really need one of those words included, just put a plus sign in front of it and that'll force Google to include that word in your query. Okay, now here are some syntax tricks that will help you narrow your queries even more. For example, if you only want results from a certain website, type site colon and the name of the site and then your search, like site colon cnet.com Sony Vio P series. Now all your results will be from CNET, as it should be. All right, here's one that lets you see who's linking to you. Link colon the molly.com will show only results that link to that URL. You can use the cache syntax operator to look for cached pages of sites that may have been taken down or just to check for changes. And here's a handy one. You can use file type to search for specific file types. Like you can look for PowerPoint, Excel, and Word files just by typing the file extension. So if you want to find some market data PowerPoints, search for TiVo trends, file type, colon, PPT. There you go. Just don't steal someone else's presentation. That is rude. Okay, and here's a cool one. Phone book colon gives you, duh, somebody's phone number. And if you find yourself and you're not cool with that, there's a handy little link to request that you be deleted. Some other syntax options include date range, which limits results to a specific time period, related, info, in title, which searches only the titles of web pages, in text, in anchor, and in URL. There you go. Become a better Googler, amaze your friends, and use all this information wisely, please. For CNET.com, I'm Molly Wood, and you're welcome. Hey folks, Brian Cooley from CNET.com. Now when we check the performance of a piece of tech, we check the performance of a piece of tech. If you love videos of cars and all their high-tech and high-performance glory, check out the CNET CarTech video podcast, CNET.com slash CarTechTV.